Volker Bassels, a volunteer Swedish deep sea diver, joined the multi agents team today with the hopes of tracing the ill fated car and its two occupants in a matter of hours. But he too encountered visibility and drug topography challenges that hampered his success. I would uh, like to retract my comment of the previous interview that I had that it would take about two hours to take the car up. I realized that I had. Uh, underestimated the conditions here, especially that Kenya Navy has to deal with. It is uh, zero visibility basically, uh, very deep water and a terrible, terrible current that makes uh, it quite difficult for us to, uh, to uh, locate the car. Volker further said chances that the car may still be at the channel are slim owing to the current tidal patterns and weather conditions. We did have two sightings, uh, two promising sightings. One we actually managed to dive today, it was at 40 meters. We stayed down for 32 minutes and scammed the area and uh, that was a negative but we have a really promising, uh, promising mark which is about 50 meters in front of the ferry, which you couldn't dive today because of the the traffic, ferry traffic. Government spokesman Sarah Soguna, however, said the multi agents team is not relenting yet and they will resume the search tomorrow on the other spots initially identified. Nobody who has the ability to predict, we are actually trying to rely on science to be able to determine you know, and to verify those locations. Now, because of science, sometimes human beings have got limitations. So yes, they're going to come back tomorrow to try and find out, but then there's also a possibility that whatever may, may look promising could also be just a mound of mud. The second possibility is that the car actually went down in the deep channel here, which is 60 meters deep. And the current, because it's a very narrow, shell, sh sh uh, narrow channel, the current there can be up to six, seven knots. If that was to ha happen to a car, it could be anywhere. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Ferry services will be halted tomorrow to pave way for the search and recovery mission that enters its sixth day tomorrow. I don't mind, you know, putting my life at stake to save somebody else, but when it comes to a recovery operation, maybe um, it's time to reflect uh, the risks involved of everybody who's trying to recover these, this vehicle and the bodies. Michael Mandiga, KBC Channel 1, Mombasa.